Hi guys, welcome back to Engineers YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I'll be your host for today's video. So for today's video, we will be discussing another closed system type of problem. And for this one, it'll be isobaric. So the question states that the constant, constant pressure heat capacity of a sample of a perfect gas was found to vary with temperature according to the expression Cp is equal to 20.7 plus 0 0.4001 T. Calculate Q, W, delta H, and delta U when the temperature temperature is raised from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So um, in this problem, there are only two values that are given. So first, we have Cp is equal to 20.7 T plus 0 0.4001 T. And then we know that T1 is 0 degrees Celsius and T2 is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. In this problem, your C Cp is not just a value. It's a function of something. And, and in this case, it's temperature. So what we'll do is we'll, we're going to use some integration um, para makuha natin yung Cp that is in accordance to the change in temperature given in this problem. So the um, easiest um, variable among the four to find here is delta H. Kasi ang, ang, ang formula natin for delta H is Cp dt. Right? And it's convenient kasi yung Cp mo is in terms of T. Kaya pag sinasuchot ko siya dito, uh, it will really be an integral that we can integrate later. So, substituting that, we have 20.17 plus 0. 4001t. And then, ilagay natin siya sa loob ng parenthesis, dt. And then, we integrate. Okay? So, for integration, ang gagawin muna natin is to distribute dt inside this 2. Okay? So, it will be the integral of 20.17 dt plus the integral of 0.4001t dt. Okay? And then, alam natin, the, for, from the rules of calculus that um, constant plus dx is equals to c, cx, okay? And then, the integral of x dx is equals to x squared over 2 plus c plus constant. Pero for, for here, di mo natin siya lagi ng constant, okay? So, ang mayayari dito is eto. Itong 20.17 constant siya. So, so that, didikitan natin siya ng t kasi ang variable natin here is t. Dito, x, pero dito, t. So, magiging 20.17 t plus itong integral, ito, constant siya. So, um, retain 0 0.4001. Tapos yung t mo in this, in this case, it will be t squared over 2. So, t squared over 2. Tapos lahat ng to, ikakalculate natin from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. But here, we have to convert it into Kelvin again. Kasi hindi, hindi you cannot um, use degrees Celsius as a boundary kasi they are not absolute temperatures. So, ikakonvert natin siya sa Kelvin. So, 0 plus 273.15 is 273.15 Kelvin. And then this one, it'll be 373.15 Kelvin. Okay? So, yun ang boundaries natin. So, ito, uh, ikakalculate natin siya from T, T1 to T2. So, ito is actually T1, T2. So, ito, T1 and T2. So, it'll be equal to 20.17 T. 20.17 T plus... 0 0.4001 t squared over 2 bound from 273.15 to 373.15. Okay? So, ngayon, let's calculate the integral. So, isa-substitute natin siya. Isa-substitute natin itong dalawang values ito here. Okay? So, ang mangyayari is 20. 0.17 tapos yung uunahin mo yung T2 which is um, 
0.15 minus 20.17 times 273.15. Kasi yun yung rules of calculus natin. That, ito. If this one is bound from x1 to x2, it will be cx2 minus cx1. Likewise, dito, ito siya magiging um, x2 squared over 2 minus x1 squared over 2. So, yun ang ginagawa natin in this step. Okay? Isa, sinasubitute natin yung boundaries sa integral kasi it is not just an integral, it's a definite integral. Okay? So, dito, ano yung sign natin? Plus, right? So, dito, magiging plus na siya. Plus, uh, 0 0.4001 t squared. So, uh, t2 muna ulit. So, 373.15 squared over 2. Tapos, wait, tuli ko na lang dito. Minus ulit. Kasi here, ito, naka-minus siya. Ito, naka-minus. So, dito, minus siya ulit. So, 0 0.4001 273.15 squared over 2. So, ito yung delta H natin. Okay? So, it's equal to 20.17 times 273.15 minus 20.17 times 273.15 plus 0 0.4001 times 373.15 squared over 2 Tapos minus 0 0.4001 times 273.15 squared, again, over 2. So the answer is 14,946.2315 joules. Ang unit nito is joules. Ayan. So, meron natin isang value. So, sa required natin, we have found delta H. And dahil isobaric system siya, we can actually equate delta H with, with Q. How? From the two fundamental equations of the first law of thermodynamics. So, ang first law natin is that uh, one of the equations, fundamental equations here, is Q plus work is equals to um, delta U, change in internal energy. But we know that work is negative PDV kasi constant yung pressure niya. So Q minus P delta V is equal to delta U. So yung other equation natin is that delta H is equal to delta U plus the change in PV. But since this is an isobaric system where pressure is constant, we can rewrite this as delta U plus P delta V. So, from these two equations, may, may, may nag-same, di ba? Yung PDV. So, ang mayari dito is we have to express U. We have to substitute this here. So, ang gagawin natin is sub 1 into 2. So, ang delta H natin ay magiging, yung delta U, ito na siya, Q minus P DV. Tapos, uh, saan pa siya naka-equate? Plus P dV. Okay? So, ito kasi yan eh. Yung U mo, you express this in this term. Kaya sinatutut mo siya dito. Tapos yung plus P dV, retain here. So, ano yung makakancel? Minus P dV plus P dV. So, we can see that delta H is equals to Q in an isobaric system. So, therefore, ang Q natin is also equals to 14,946 0.2315 joules. Okay? And ngayon, meron na tayong two values here. Meron na tayong delta H and Q. So the next step, the next thing that we'll calculate here is the work. Okay? So ang work natin is equals to negative P dV. Okay? So negative P dV. But we know that the pressure is constant, right? So we can use ideal gas law. Ang gagawin natin here is we know that PV is equals to NRT. ba? Pero in this case, um, ang pag constant pressure, ang dalawang nagbabari is V and T. And we know that V1, T1 is equals to V2, T2. 
to sorry yan so we know that v is directly proportional to the change in temperature so we know that delta v is directly proportional to delta p and since these two factors like p is constant and nrt is constant therefore we can rewrite this as negative n or delta p using this equation kasi we know that yung change dito is equal to the change dito tapos yung p mo constant yung n and r mo constant so we can rewrite this as this so yung another formula for work in an isobaric system is negative n or delta p so substituting we have we assume that since walang number of moles you can just assume one mole or we can you can just leave the units as per mole so ang um, n natin ba cancel wag natin again so yung r mo is you, let's use negative 8.314 so negative then r mo 8.314 joules per mole kelvin tapos yung change in temperature natin is 100 minus 0 kelvin kasi the change in temperature in celsius is also the change in temperature in kelvin so ang sagot natin dito is work mo is negative 831.4 joules per mole. Okay? Kasi yung Kelvin mo makakancel. So, joules per mole. This is, yeah, the answer. This is the answer for Q. And this is the answer for H. Okay? So, lastly, we have delta U. So, we know that delta U is equal to Q. So, spread. And delta U then becomes, um, yung Q natin is 40,000 nine hundred and forty six fourteen thousand nine hundred forty six point two three one five joules plus yung work natin is negative eight hundred thirty one point four joules okay per mole let's just assume per mole or let's just assume one mole in this case so delta u doesn't really matter naman especially when your problem didn't specify how much mole is in that you can just assume one mole okay so ayan uh, answer natin would be 14,114.88315. Okay? Wait now. 8315. Joules. Or joules per mole. It doesn't matter. Basta, yan yung value natin. So, yeah. That's a problem. And that's the solution for the problem. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.